Hi friends, now we are going to talk about something that that happens quite a lot is if I go to SE37 and so suppose I want to get something related with purchase order okay and this is an RFC one okay so Bapi PO get details suppose this one because I want to find the one that has an RFC so I now show you what happens is what I am showing is sometimes when we put debugger as an external debugger it doesn't stop okay it doesn't stop though you have put external debugging from outside so when you are doing incoming stuff so why it doesn't stop so I will show you why it doesn't stop so what happens is when you call when you are calling the uh, SAP system you are calling through an RFC with a different ID so that's why it's not called it's not stopping the debugger and if the debugger doesn't stop it's nothing for you okay so here you go to it utilities settings let me go again there so I went to SEAT let me do the same I went to slash and SEAT okay and here if you go to utilities settings and here you will go to debugger somewhere Oops, web editor web editor debugging okay and here you can see this by default is my user id so you can here put another id and put accordingly okay so here you can put the user id as something with rfc that you're calling and all those things so this is very very important okay you can say student you can put all this suppose you are logging with suppose SAP WFRT which is workflow and then you are doing a debug if you execute then it will stop if it if you are debugging with your user ID means if you are uh, running the function model from outside with a different ID then it will not stop okay you have to change it here okay so this is very important so that's it stay tuned to my SAP channel and happy SAP learning and if you like it, share and subscribe to it and have a great day.